Super second team. Second chapter. Starting in verse three. Though therefore endure hardship, hardness, as a good soldier of Jesus Christ, no man that warth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him that hath chosen him to be a soldier. Verse 10. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. It is, faithful, it is a faithful saying, for if we indeed and if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. On today, a man. Word that we have on today, titled "Suffer It to Be So." Amen. Suffer it to be. sitting I'm going to give you just a little back story on the first portion of what we read. If you want to follow along, you can go to the book of John, St. John. That we can get an understanding of that. We just read St. John chapter 1. takes a very humble approach, but God uh, basically just tells them, I'm just out here declaring for you to prepare you the way of the Lord. In other words, he is in, in some stead kind of like what we do right now uh, when you witness to others, when you tell people of the goodness of the Lord. You are not Jesus, but yet you are declaring to them, amen, that there is a better way. That there is something, a man, that's worth changing your life to. Uh, so John, in so many words, uh, there was a posting I placed on uh, Facebook earlier last week, a man, and I said, desiring to achieve uh, selflessness, a man. John takes on the approach of selflessness, amen. Yeah, more yeah. selflessness, amen. Because when you get more selflessness, the closer you get to be with God, amen. amen selflessness amen. where you're, uh, it's not about you. It's not about anything that you do. It's not about anything that you say. 
John takes himself out of the equation. They come at him asking, you, well, if you're not the person that you're talking about, why are you even out here doing it? Yeah, and he yeah, says, I'm just yeah. out here preparing you. I'm trying to get you, I'm trying to put you on game as we speak right now. Yeah. I'm trying to get your mind right. Let me do it, let me, let me, let me pull you to this. Let me get you aware of what's going on. Amen. There's one coming. Amen. He's coming. He's still coming. Amen. I'm speaking regarding him. Amen. I, I am in so many words, basically, he's the messenger. In other words, I'm the informer. I'm just coming to inform you. Amen. I'm bringing you some good news. Amen. I'm bringing you something that you need to adhere to. So they are still questioning him, wondering, well, why are you even out here? He takes the approach, I'm out here preaching good word to you. But understand, as you were talking about, he's in a selflessness state. Yes, you know, yes, selflessness yes, is yes. humble. He has humbled himself, amen. In other words, he is doing an act of selflessness. Okay. The messenger, I'm the messenger. I'm just out here informing you of what you need to do. I'm standing right here before each and every one of you. I inform you each and every week, amen. I minister to you each and every week. Yes. I am on, just Jesus. the messenger. Yes. I'm giving you a message on something that is better for you. Yes. I'm giving yes. you that. That's what John is doing. He's a messenger. Each and every one of us, when we go witness to someone, when we speak to someone at our job, when we speak to someone in our house, when we speak to someone at school, amen, doesn't matter if you're young folk or if you're old, amen, and you are telling them about the goodness of the Lord, you yes, are a Jesus. messenger. You're informing someone, you're telling someone. That's an act of selflessness. Next thing he does, amen, he, he informs them and tells them, if you look back in that story in John, he says, I'm just... Listen here. I'm telling you about someone that's coming after me. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. I, I, I'm giving you some back leg on somebody. There's somebody that's coming. I'm a messenger. I'm speaking. But there is somebody that's going to come behind me. Amen. That, that is so divine. That is so powerful. That is so strong. That, that, is, that he is the Christ. He is the one I am speaking of. He's coming behind me, and when he comes, amen, he going to set some things straight. Yes, amen. Yes, so, Jesus. in other words, I'm speaking of someone that's coming behind me. I might be strong, and I might look like I'm in high regard. Folk, I put him in high regard. People were listening to John. People were following and trying to prepare themselves. Amen. Much as we do here. Amen. When you hear someone speaking good words, speaking, amen, you try to make yourself ready. Amen. That's what he's doing, trying to get folk on it, to trying to get them to understand. Look here, amen. You need to make some changes in your life, amen, because yeah. someone else is coming behind me. There's someone that's going to come that's going to set everything straight, yeah. amen. Yeah. Someone is going to come that is going to resurrect and save, amen. But in the stead of John, he said, there's going to come someone, amen, that comes behind me, yeah. and he's so Jesus. powerful that I can't even, I'm not even worthy to carry his shoes. Well. John takes it a step further and says, I'm not even worthy to untie the shoes. If they're tied up, I'm not even worthy to untie his shoes. Now, he's hollering someone in high regard. Yes. Amen. I'm not even worthy to touch this person. That's how strong he is. Now, understand, amen. Out of my battery, I'm just going to go out. Amen. Put this one on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He takes the approach and says, you know, I'm, I'm not worthy to, to, uh, to even unlatch th this man's shoes. I, I can't even, you know, be on his level. I'm not on his level at all. Amen. But I'm still going to inform you about him. Yes, in other yes. words, he says he's a strong person. Amen. He's got all might in his hands. Amen. Not only does he have all might, but let me tell you just exactly who he is. Yes, Amen. Jesus. He is the Christ that we are speaking of. Yes. Amen. He is the main person. That's the one that's going to come to take the sins of the world. Amen. Yes, I'm yes, just his yes, messenger. Yes, yes. Uh, it's not about me. Amen. I'm not him, but I'm speaking about him. Yes. Amen. Notice strategically, if you go back into the word, amen, when John was in the womb, amen, and Mary passed by, yes. amen, carrying Jesus, it Bible says John jumped in the womb. So yes. in other words, while he was still in his womb of his mother, amen, and Mary walked by with the seed of Jesus inside of her. Yes. He, he was so powerful, it was God, amen, that while John was in the womb, John had to jump because something walked past 
something had some power. There was yes, something yes, that yes. moved him. Amen. It's the same person that he is speaking about. There is coming someone behind me that I'm not even worthy to touch him. I'm not even worthy to carry his shoes. I'm not even worthy to be in the same building as he is in. Yes, Amen. Yes. So in other words, it's another act of selflessness. Amen. Amen. It's, I, I, it's not about me. Amen. He humbles himself. Amen. For someone that's coming behind him. I like this approach that he takes on this. Let's go to St. John. Amen. You're already there. You got to read this word right for what it actually says. I like the approach that he takes here. Amen. Let's go down. Ah, yes, to. Hallelujah. Let's go to verse. Amen. Let's take it to uh, verse 23. Verse 23, St. John 1. Amen. He says these words. I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Amen. I'm the voice of one crying in the wilderness. So in other words, another act of selflessness. I don't want you to focus on me. It's not about me, amen. Don't even focus on me, but just hear my voice. Yeah, amen. Yeah, it's it's yeah. just about the thing that I'm telling you. It's not about me. You know, oftentimes when you talk to someone, amen, you find yourself kind of getting swept away by looking at them, amen. They might have on something. They might have on a certain cologne. They might have on some certain kind of shoes, throwbacks. They might have, amen, uh, a nice hairdo. And you find yourself, while you're listening to them, amen, getting distracted on certain things, mm -hmm. amen, because you're focused in on them, yeah, amen, because yeah, you're looking at them. But what John says in this state, amen, is that I'm just a voice crying in the wilderness. So in other words, I don't want you to focus on me. Don't even look on me, but just hear the voice that I'm saying, yeah. amen. But look at the approach he takes as the wilderness. Uh, the wilderness, the wilderness people in the world, amen. Mm -hmm. Amen, out in the wilderness. If you were ever gone out into the wilderness, there's a lot of things out in the wilderness. Yeah, you're going to find some animals. You're going to find some lakes. You're going to find some trees. There's a whole lot going on in the wilderness. Amen. That, and, and if we are out there in the wilderness, we can get caught up in that. Amen. Mm -hmm. However, because the wilderness represents also the world. Amen. We're just a voice standing in the world. Amen. Yeah. Preparing folk, telling folk about the goodness of the Lord, amen. amen. But our approach ought to be that of John, amen. Yes, Let yes, me yes. remain humble. Don't yes. look at me, amen. Don't look at the car that I'm driving. Don't yes, look at the yes, clothes yes. that I'm wearing. Don't worry about the cologne I got on. Yes, Don't worry yes, about the yes. new hairstyle. Don't worry about the chains that I'm wearing. Amen. The only thing that you need to focus on is what I am saying, amen. Declare this word, amen. He comes and says, I'm just a voice. Crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. So in other words, don't get focused on me. Don't get zoomed in on me. Don't look at me. But get look at the hear the words that I am saying. Does anybody remember when you were in school? You remember you had those hearing tests, amen, where they would call you down to the room and they put the headphones on you and they put you at the desk and you were facing the wall and they would be standing behind you and you had to lift your hand, right hand, or your left hand, amen, when you heard the bell going off. Notice that there was nothing in front of you. The teacher wasn't even in front of you well, because they wanted you to focus on what was being heard. Amen. amen. They didn't want you to look at anything. They wanted you to focus on the words being heard. Amen. That's the same approach John takes right here. Amen. I am just the voice crying in the wilderness. Yes. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's not about me. It's not about what I look like. It ain't about how I smell. Amen. But I'm telling you about somebody. Yes, Amen. Jesus. I'm telling you about someone. Amen. That's going to come behind me. I'm telling you about someone. Amen. That can do the impossible. Yes. Amen. And as the time goes. Amen. Jesus comes. A couple days later, Jesus comes. And John takes the approach, looks and says, this is what I was talking about. Here comes, amen, here he comes, amen, the Lamb of God, amen, who taketh away the sins of the world, amen. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah, held yeah. him in such high regard that he sees him coming. 
Isaiah's man, and he's so humble to him that he says, ah, here he is. This is the one I'm talking about. I know many of y'all hear me out here speaking, yes, yes. out here in the wilderness, out in the street, amen, declaring a word. But this is the one I've been talking about. Well, this is the one that I've been preaching about. This is the one that I've been telling y'all is coming. And here he comes to take the sins of the world, amen. amen. Jesus amen. comes down, asks him to be baptized. John, so humble, says, wait a minute, are you asking me to take you down? I'm the one that needs to be coming to you. In other words, I need for you to do it to me. Amen. I'm not, I, 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 I'm so unworthy, amen, yeah. to touch you. Amen. But yet you're coming to me. He says, suffer it to be so. Oh, amen. Suffer it. Amen. There are going to be some things that we got to go through. We got to suffer it. Suffer this thing. Amen. But it is a humbling state. Amen. You have to put yourself in a humbling state when you got to suffer some things. Come on, yes, somebody. Yes, 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 yes. This suffer is not talking about suffering as in going through a struggle, but it's a suffering of a humbleness. Amen. Amen. I, I, I'm so hollering you in high regard. I see you here. Amen. But yet you counted me enough to come to and, 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 and to ask me to baptize you act of selflessness, amen. That's something we got to desire within ourselves, amen. I want to have a little more selflessness. Why? Because when I get a little more selflessness in me, I get closer to him, yes. amen. I get closer to God. Does anybody want to get a little bit closer yes, to yes, God, yes, amen. Yes. Amen. I don't want it to be about me, amen. It's not about me, amen. I've got more than enough because he's blessed me with more than enough. But let me get a little bit more of him, songwriter said, I need a little bit more Jesus, amen. Yes, Does yes. anybody need a little more Jesus, amen? That's all right if you need him. Come on, come on. Yes, amen. Yes. We all need something at some yes, point in time. Yes. Amen. I need a little bit more, amen, to help me through this day. Yes, amen. Yes, I need yes, a little yes. bit more, amen. I need more of him in me, amen. Clap those hands yes. and give him glory. Yes. Suffering to be so, so John takes that approach, amen, I, 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 you're asking me to do this of you, amen, but you're the person I hold in high regard, amen, and yet you are asking of me to do this for you, amen, suffer it to be so, in other words, don't worry about it, amen, I know it seems hard, but amen, you can endure it, amen, don't worry about it, there's a need for you to do this, amen, I'm moved by your humbleness, amen, you can move God when you show him how humble you are, amen. Yeah, yeah, God yeah, is moved yeah, by yeah. your humbleness. God is moved by you being selfish, unselfish, amen. God is moved by your selflessness, amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you give of yourself to yeah, others, yeah. amen. When you give more of yourself to him, that's yeah, what God on, wants, amen. Yeah, amen. He's not interested in, amen, what you have already, amen. He's not interested in the things that you went on and acquired for yourself, but when you break yourself down, and that's the whole essence of this season that we are in. Yeah. It's a sacrificial season, amen. We get ourselves so stood up, amen. We get ourselves so puffed up, amen, that we are so prideful in how we look, in what we have, in what I can do, amen. Yeah. But does anybody want to break themselves down just a little bit more amen. to get closer to God, amen? Yeah. I want to get closer to him. It's not about how I look. It ain't about the hairstyle I have. It ain't about the money in my pocket, amen. But let me get closer to you, amen, amen. because the closer... I get to you, amen. That's when I can get a more, better, better blessing. That's where I can get, amen. I can hear what it is you have for me. That's when I can see what you're trying to do for me in my life, amen. But let me get a little bit closer, amen. How do I get a little bit closer? Let me get on more selflessness. Amen, yeah, amen, yeah. John's approach, amen. I, I'm humble, but... Uh, I, I, I'm not even worthy to tie your shoes. I'm not worthy to hold your shoes, but yet you're coming to me, amen, amen. Humbling himself. It's a humbling thing when you've got to break yourself down to carry on some things, amen. Let's go to the book of St. Timothy, amen, or, or, or 2 Timothy, excuse me. 
2 Timothy chapter 2, what we were reading, amen, we understand, amen, this is speaking in regards to, he's talking to Timothy, amen, about enduring and being a good soldier. A good soldier goes through some things, amen. A good soldier is able to endure, amen. He has the ability to endure. Does anybody have the ability to endure, yes. amen? You got the yes. ability to yes. go through some things. If you got the ability to endure, that means you can go through some things. As we just read, amen, chosen for a reason. There's a strategic move here. There's a strategic move for each and every one of us yes. in this place that we are in. Yes, there's a strategic move that you are here. Amen. You are here for a reason. God has placed you here for this time, not just the time that you spend here. God has placed you here on today. Amen. For a specific reason. Amen. Amen. Chosen for a reason. He's chosen people. He chooses. God is choosing select people because he's going to have himself a people. Amen. He just don't take anybody. Amen. Yeah. But he chooses who he takes. Amen. Amen. Everybody has opportunity to be the chosen. Amen. But everybody ain't chosen. Oh. Amen. So in other words, it's a selection process. I'm so glad that I was in the selection process to be here on today. Amen. So in other words, he has you here for a reason. There was a word for you here for you to hear. Amen. Here for a reason. Amen. Because he knows you have the ability to endure. Yeah. Anybody know that you have been through some things in your life? Yeah. Come on, somebody. You done been through some things throughout last week. You went through some things a month ago. You went through some things last year. Some of us is going through some things right now, amen. But you are enduring them, amen. He has you placed. Why? Because he knows that you can endure, amen. He will not put more on you than you can bear, amen. See, everybody couldn't go through the things that you done went through. Oh, let's just keep it 100. There are some things that you done went through in your life Everybody, you got some friends that you know. Ain't no way in the world they would have been able to handle that situation. Yeah. Amen. There ain't no way in the world they would have been handled, been able to handle the people that I done had to deal with. There's some folk, there's some family friends you got. Come on. There's some family members you got that could not handle what you done went through. Amen. But look what God has given you. Amen. Amen. He's yes. given you the ability to endure. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Lord, he's given you the ability to endure. Amen. That's because because you are a select group, All amen. Right. Everybody yeah. couldn't do it. Everybody couldn't go through. Everybody couldn't get down and get back up. Everybody couldn't sweat it out. Everybody couldn't fight their way out. Everybody couldn't stand still through adversity, amen. But he has chosen you for this reason, the ability to endure. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Strategic, amen, that he has you here, not just in this day, but even in this place, amen, amen, the word that you hear, the word that you are learning, amen, he has you here, because everybody can't endure good work, yeah. everybody can't go through, everybody ain't ready to break off from some things, come on somebody, yeah. everybody oh, ain't yeah. ready to make yeah. that kind of a change in oh, their life, amen, yeah. Yeah. why, because they're too wrapped up into the things that they do, they're too yeah. wrapped up into the world. They don't see that a change needs to be made in their life. But thanks be to God. Yeah. Amen. He has me here. Amen. Why? Because he knows I can endure it. He knows I have that ability. Amen. Uh -huh. I'm so glad I'm a part of the select group. Amen. Yeah. Everybody can't be a part of the select group. Amen. Yeah. You go through a selection process. Amen. He has his demeaned time and place for each and every one of us, amen. He had it written down years ago that you're gonna be here today because there's something that you need to hear, amen. I got it written down that you're gonna go through what you went through, amen, but you still came out on top. Yeah, yeah. You still came out, amen. Not everybody could go through and do the time that you did. Not everybody could go through and still hold on and still keep their mind. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah, amen. Yeah. You would have went through some things that your mind would have gone crazy. Yeah. The average person could have went crazy. The yeah, average person yeah, yeah, would have yeah, react, yeah. reacted back, amen. But thanks be to God, amen. You didn't react back. You didn't fall down. You didn't go under, amen. Why? Because he has chosen you for such this time, amen. He has selected you to go through this. Why? Because he knows you have the ability 
to endure. Yes. Yes. When you have the ability to endure, that means you can handle some things. We just read in Timothy where they were talking about soldiers as good soldiers. Amen. You understand, soldiers are good. Soldiers are able to handle battle. Amen. Soldiers are good in battle. Reason being, amen, a good soldier, amen, is worthy of the battle. Why? Because he's battle tested. Amen. You can't be in a battle if you're not battle tested. Amen. You, you, the reason why you were able to overcome because you were battle tested. Amen. Some things you go through in your life have brought you to this place. Why? Because you have been battle tested. Yes. You grew up in yes. a struggle. You grew up in a hard place. Amen. You grew up in a hard environment. You grew up around some roughnecks. Amen. But you are still standing here. Why? Yes. Because you are a good soldier. Yes. Amen. God just took that same thing and said, let me use it to my glory. Amen. You thought it was for one reason. No, 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 no. I used that because I needed you for such a time as this. Amen. To be able to understand. For someone to be able to say, amen. Somebody can go through situations. Somebody yes. can endure some things. Amen. There needed to be a witness. Amen. And I'm so glad he's using us as the witness that somebody can go through and yes. still lead and depend. Somebody didn't fall. Somebody didn't go by the wayside. They still held on. Somebody came out to service. Somebody still is praising me. Somebody is still magnifying me. They have the ability to endure. Amen. Amen. Yes. You need to really look back on your own life. You done went through some things. And as I said, some of the stuff that we went through, your mind would be lost. Yes. You done been through some things, some situations that occurred on you, amen, that the average person would have went cuckoo. But I was able to endure because I'm a soldier, yes. amen. I was able to go through because I'm a soldier, amen. I was able to uphold. I was able to still stand strong because I'm a soldier. Yeah. And because I'm a soldier, amen, God just takes that and uses it for his own glory, amen. Uh -huh. I got some folk that know how to go through some things. Yeah. I got some folk that know how to stand strong. I got some folk that can lean and depend on my word, amen, yeah. because they went through some hard times. Amen. When you go through hard times, when you go through struggle, when other struggle comes, it's easier for you to handle. Yeah. Because I've already been through some some things. Anybody that's been through some things, well, and, and you, you you see other problems coming, and you're like, I ain't worried about that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's hard, but. I done went through worse than that. Well, I done been through worse than that. That ain't nothing. Amen. That that little test ain't nothing. See, I'm battle tested. So when you're battle tested, you're battle worthy. When you're battle tested, that means when you go through the next situation, yeah. the next two situations, because I've learned a few battles, I've learned the truth a few tricks along the way. I've learned how to abstain. I've learned how to endure, amen. I've learned how to suffer, amen. Because when you learn how to suffer, amen, when suffering time comes, amen, I've already endured this before, so I can do it yes, again. Yes, yes. Suffer it to be so. The reason is because when you suffer it to be so, mm -hmm. he has this for you because it's going to be said that ain't nobody going to deal with that kind of situation. Gee. Ain't nobody going to go through that kind of mess. Ain't nobody going to be able to handle that. Not, no, sir. Uh -uh. He, God's going to have himself the people yeah. that he went through some trying times. That couldn't handle 
some things. But because they understood the person that they lived for. See, the person they lived for is the one John said, the one that comes behind me. Uh -huh. Amen. So when you understand that the person that came behind John was the, is the person that I'm living for, and because I can endure this thing, because John was able to endure and be humble, let me break myself down and get a little bit more humble. Yes. And understand, no, I'm not going to run from the battle. No, I'm not going to run from the test. No, I'm not going to run from this thing. Why? Because I'm going to be able to endure it. Jesus, Jesus, Because I've already been prepared for this. Yes, yes, yes. And if I am not prepared for it, well, well, he has me in this place yes, for a reason. Yes. Because he knows I can deal with it. Uh -huh. That's why he says just suffer it to be so. That's right. Just, just go ahead and go on through it. Because there's some folk, let me get real with it. You got some friends that are banking on you not being able to make it. Well, Come on. You got some folk that done placed wagers. How long you think he gonna handle it? Well, man. How long you think he gonna be out? How long you think before he go back in? Well, there's some folk that's waiting for your downfall. Yeah, yeah, but he yeah, has yeah, you placed yeah. in this place here. He has you right in this stead because he knows, amen, that is a soldier right there. Jesus, and we Jesus. put a soldier in oh, battle. Yeah, a real soldier yeah, in battle yeah, knows yeah, how to Jesus. handle himself. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah, real soldier, Jesus. don't get in the battle and run. Well, that ain't a soldier. But he's placed us there. Yes. Suffering to be so. This is my first battle. I know it's your first one. But greater is he that's in me. Yes. Than he that's in the world. Yes. So if he has me here, suffering to be so. Because there's some folk waiting for me to fall. Well, they ain't just banking on your fall. They waiting on your fall so they can step in yes. and try to get your stand. Yeah. Try to get what you got. But uh -uh, I'm not worried about that. All right. They waiting to be able to point their fingers and I told you so. Amen. I knew they wasn't going to be able to do it because they ain't got it like that. Well. But I didn't think that I had it like that. But he still placed me in the battle. Yes, yes. And because yes. he's placed you there, he's going to have himself a people that was able to be in the fire. Yes. And be made in the fire. Yeah. Because the way you find out gold is real, you got to put it in the fire. Amen. And when you put gold in the fire, it's trying. And you can see, it's still standing. Yeah. It ain't melted down. See, you put that that foamy gold in there, well. it's gonna melt down. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be gone. It's gonna burn up. But gold don't 